What did he call him? Jam Jars? Yeah, that's his brother. Or no, that's oh. what. No, that was the nickname that, that Kazooie called him. That was what. Jam Jars. It's Jam a it's a joke about his glasses. All right. As a person who wears glasses, I'm feeling super. Uh... You don't wear glasses like he does. Those are those are massive. I know. Rub it in. Why don't you? Baddies escape and roll. Okay. <laughs> We need the baddies. <laughs> I'm on the side of Gruntilda. Should we talk to Gruntilda every time? Yeah, we should. Thank you, Gruntilda. All of Grunt's disgusting secrets. We gotta write them down somewhere. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Okay. B. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth. Moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. So blue cheese. With rancid milk. So head and shoulders. The witch is warehouse. Your from the witch. So do so, I. So the Wait gap. a second. Why is that a disgusting. <laughs> the gap. <laughs> yeah, the gap. <laughs> Gruntilda checking out at a hot topic. <laughs> I'm out of water. Head. I have to go get some real quick. Okay. It will be so fast. All right, I'll just piss myself. All right, have fun. If this makes it into the recording, I'm not actually gonna piss myself. <sighs> just finished. Not pissing myself. Remember Bear Grylls? The guy who like lived in the wild and his whole bit was, well, better drink my own piss. By the way, Budweiser's are on tap tonight. And honestly, I'm liking. I'm digging. I'm getting a little too much shut eye. I'm feeling a little too well rested. I got that dog in me, that Costco 150 dog. That shit ain't nothing to me, slime. What's he doing to Kazooie? No way the chicken got choked. This is what it's back. like talking to no one. This is what it's like streaming to zero right. people. I am looking forward While you were to... gone getting water. I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to editing this video and <laughs> listening to what the hell you were saying. This is going to be fun. I left a little Easter egg for you there. I'm looking forward to it. Who was the homie in the hood? Hey! That's how I run up to things I like. I just two hands up and I start sprinting. Wrong. <laughs> You've activated a magic cauldron. I can you jump to, in him? I forgot to activate the other one. Uh, you can jump in him, but like it doesn't do anything until you get the other one. Oh, true. This design is so timeless. Like I feel like a lot of games took style from how the rare, the rareware games looked. Like, because Donkey Kong was the same way. Like this, this ability to capture all these different sceneries and traveling with like a an, an ancient feel. Yeah, I think if we're, if we're talking like oh. best hub worlds, number this one. Is up there. But the thing is, it's like, <laughs> this shark scared the shit this, out of me. This shark is oh, awful. Oh, oh, oh my god, dude! All right, all right, all right. I gotta try it again. I gotta try. It. You can you can make a very specific jump and just fall directly onto the Jinjo because of like the gravity knocks you under the water enough. They use such a visceral uh. chomping sound. Oh my god. That's fine. Okay, I got, okay. I got, I got, him. I got him. I got him. It's fine. I think it would have been way more scary if he just, like, if he just straight like, up in one hit. You, yeah. 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 That, yeah that's like what I thought growing player. up, because I never really got hit by him, because I was so scared. Oops. Yeah. You know what? It's I'm really perplexed by this idea of... Collectathons, they, like, this game feels perfect to me. Like, obviously, there's objective reasons why it may not be, but it feels like everything I want in a game. But even saying that, I understand that, like, uh, the idea of just collecting things doesn't no longer feels that appealing to me. I think, so as having played, you could, not to bring this up again, but as having played ukulele, I, I definitely understand. Oh, right, he's bringing up ukulele I'm, I'm again. I'm bringing it up again, I'm bringing it up again. I mean, say, it's the same with DK64, actually. DK64 is another example. Fine, we'll use a different game as an example. I think it was proof that while Rare are clearly very good 
game designers and very okay game programmers, uh, it's very clear that they might have learned the wrong lesson from why people liked this game. It's possible. Because it wasn't really about the fact that you collected a bunch of stuff. You do collect a bunch of stuff in this game, but it wasn't really about that. And they didn't learn moderation because the next two games that they created yeah. in the genre were just fucking nuts. There's so much stuff to collect. You're right. You're if you had to articulate like what it is that like really kept people to the game, I think it was like it was because of the balance of it. Like you were collecting things in creative ways. Like how they thought up the ways in which you collected many things. Yeah led to like really creative like level design and and kind of funny enemies like they were they were always like like this guy this guy's a goofy guy he's hitting the gritty on us as he's, he's giving us he's a jiggy hitting, he's hitting the gritty for us as the, as a thank you look at the clam with eyes right behind us like the, this is the reason why people play this game this game is really charming and has great writing like that is that is a huge reason that it is so good and also i think the fact that this is like right on the heels of mario 64 which had a similar sort of like in in the level you can do whatever you want and there's an there's an objective that will get you a star but getting the star kicked you out and then this game yeah. decided not to do that but kept a lot of the same kept the same like tighter level design in that it's a little they're bigger the d levels in this game are definitely bigger but uh because the levels are smaller there's not quite as much like ridiculous bullshit to collect the levels are self-contained and all the objectives to get are still really good, like Mario Star type objectives. Uh, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's great. I think it's. I think that's the reason that this is my favorite of the three collectathons. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good argument. This me Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Oh shit. This, that's one of those like, <laughs> how did they get this past the censors type of moment? My ass like a treasure chest. It is funny what stuff Nintendo did say about this game what stuff they did have them change and what stuff they didn't <laughs> what like, stuff did they did they change what stuff didn't make it do you know of any of that like... uh the, so the biggest one that i know of that was like uh they had to they had to change it or fuck around with it because uh it was it was an audio thing it was uh the the pots in mad monster mansion where you feed them an egg and they grow a flower and they say thank you, but like in a really low, like, thank you. <laughs> like that. And Nintendo insisted that it sounded like fuck you. <laughs> so like there's like, fuck you. Is there footage of what it actually... Or like, did they say that after the fact? Like now that the game is out? Now, no, it was, it, was, uh, it was before, like when they were sending it to Nintendo for verification, they had them... Grant, Grant Kirkhope tells the story and like he has to, to re-record that same line over and over again. I'm not, I, I wish like, there was a way that we could hear it. I, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to hear the original that Nintendo heard. I don't think that's going to be possible, but... Feathers are such a cool concept execution in this game as well. Nice, that was well done. You're supposed to be able to just fly straight at it, and like the, the animation won't play if you do it as a... What's it called? As uh, while you're flying, the animation. Play. This game like had a dramatic effect on me because now, whenever I think of music notes, like even when learning music or reading sheet music, I always think of them as gold in my mind. Like I True. think of music yeah, as, that makes as sense. like the color gold. I heavily associate with music because of this game. I never thought of it that way. I think maybe because like I knew what sheet music was from a very young age, that I still associate it with with uh, black. But I I knew what music was. I never knew what sheets were. For a long yeah, time. like I had, I took piano lessons when I was really young, so I knew. I mean, I played banjo kazooie before I took piano lessons, so maybe that's not a real argument. I'm not sure. Oh my god, the camera just. Whoa! Had a moment on me there. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Jinjos. <laughs> How'd you get there, my <laughs> yeah, friend? Like what I think, I think you could have figured yourself out there. Like I don't think you need. He's to, just standing there. You know. Needed me for this one. <laughs> All right, do you want to see a speedrunning trick? This is one anyone can do. Even a casual player can just, like, start okay. incorporating this. Listen up out there. If you're listening and you've never played... I fucked it up, so don't worry about it. Okay. He lied to you. Uh, 
But basically, if you do a ground pound, right? I, I'll just demonstrate it off here, even though it doesn't give me any anything. If I jump from here, that gives me some fall damage, right? Jump from there. Yeah. But let's go back up. And I'm going to ground pound from up here. And that's not. Oh my damage. god. The animation doesn't end until <laughs> what? It, until you land, and they don't calculate the fall damage if you're falling like that in that animation. So that's a fun little trick. Awesome idea for a band. Fallout damage. Fallout damage. Yeah. And it's a video game. Video game like a pop. Oh uh, yeah, video game pop punk band. Are they pop punk? I would consider them. I would consider them so? pop punk. Yeah. I guess like, so. Like maybe maybe punk is a little bit of a stretch, or like maybe that's an argument. So, but I think there is a they've released enough music that I consider pop punk to like classify their entire yeah, music so. range as hitting pop punk because they have some albums that like and some songs that like actually feel pop punk in a great way. Yeah, I only listened to that one that one album that's like a, a, the the album cover is like a stage. Oh, the one that Dance Dance is on. Is Dance Dance on that one? And and I know this ain't a scene is on it. But my favorite Fall Out Boy song is the Our Lawyers Made Us Change the Name of This Song. Yes! Also, From Under the Cork Tree. I don't know if I remember that. Is the album. Is the album oh, is that the album? Okay. The stage. Um, yes, I love the Our Lawyers. Uh, what's it called? Our Lawyers Made Us Change, lawyers the, made name us change the Name of the Song. It's a song. Yeah, yeah. Th 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 that album. Yeah. That album uh, saw. Takes over the breaks over, which is a pop punk song, and it's very, very cool. Okay. Anywho, pop punk is an amazing genre, and like the heat I get for it are typically the like the heat that I hear it get is usually people who are like less so fans of pop and more so fans of punk who don't feel like the genre yeah, does punk true. justice or like what punk stands for. Which is interesting. Like I would put myself so like. Oh my god, I landed. <laughs> I put myself more on the <laughs> punk spectrum in terms of like, I like a lot of punk-based music, but are you on the punk spectrum? I'm I'm kinda on the spectrum. Uh, the the for punk, it's like I love the idea that like it, it doesn't really matter that they they can't play their instruments. They like make a point that it's like it's not about that, but. I, so I love the attitude, but then I don't love the music that is produced by that. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can absolutely see that angle on it, and and it also like it. It's interesting to feel like like when you listen to music, there's like so many different elements to it, like what it sounds like, of course, but what the messaging is, what the timing of it is, like what's it responding to, what's it discussing with its audience, that like really impact how you listen to music as well. And like what brings you to the music, and you can agree with everything but the sound, and it's very interesting. Ooh, hurt by Gruntilda's booty. Yeah, Gruntilda's booty was really sharp. That was honestly the most, you were like, spitting ninja. Yeah, I don't know how that. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the the feather? the feather flying in this game? Because you know, like Mario wings to the sky. All of our all of my connections oh, yeah. to that. Good. They all they all go back to Mario 64, but like when you were flying, I was thinking like, man, I hated the wing cap flying experience in 64. Yeah, Mario 64 flying sucks ass. It's terrible. How did you feel about like the flying with I with the red flower with the red feather in this game? I thought it was okay, but definitely improved in Banjo Kazooie by a long shot. At Banjo Tooie. Banjo Tooie. Banjo Tooie. Yeah. In nuts and bolts, it was they really nailed it in nuts and bolts. Yeah, nuts and bolts. Car. Yeah, it was pretty, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool how they just took out all the all the fun parts and then made it uh, cars. I know that game. That game is underrated, genuinely. So this game is 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 rated. I think that that game probably. I wonder if you had to think of. There's no way to quantify it and research it, but like games that finally released or like inclusions into series that finally released that broke the hearts of their fan base like nuts and bolts has to be like one of the top entrants um duke nukem is also yeah, up there duke nukem forever is, is definitely gonna be don't you get to pick up a turd in uh yes duke nukem you do. okay so i mean maybe it's not as bad there's, as people are making it's it part of it's it's some, it has 
it has some of what makes <laughs> uh, of what makes uh, Duke Nukem fun. The main thing it doesn't have is uh, good shooting mechanics, good gameplay mechanics, also good gameplay. Dude, this this shark, this the music is. You know what it is? I think games totally nailed like underwater scary music. Yeah, I, I think Jaws probably helped the movie. Jaws absolutely really, helped. Definitely, it. definitely helped establish the... Jaws fascinated me and terrified me as well. Like, it made me scared of the ocean growing up, but I, I was obsessed with it. Like, scared and obsessed. Do you ever have something that you're scared of and obsessed yes, with? Yes, this game was one, of the, was one of those things for sure. Absolutely. Like, it kick-started a fascination with the underwater world, which for a long time I was, like, super scared of as a kid, but couldn't stop myself from researching more i'm gonna i'm gonna try a speed run trick and uh if my health goes every low, time you I'll say die. that we like take damage or die or something yeah it's no, okay, a way no, to I, work i know i fucked it up, Wait, I fucked it up. you fucked it up you, so what what you can ha oh my god i need to get some health because i do not want to lose all the notes that i have uh what you can do is end up in the shell and like he can't hit you and you're just like wailing on him basically you just sit there in the shell, hitting him, and he can't hit you. We're just gonna do the boss fight normal. Imagine you have such big claws and you lose this fight. I'd be so yeah. sad. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be disappearing in See, my shell. See, the thing game. is, like, he, you can't hit him while he's doing his claw, while he's doing his little claw move. So if he just had more endurance, he easily would have won because he just kept swinging. Like, what's Bandra gonna do? Nothing. Bro's got no stamina. Bro's got no endurance. What do you even try to spell Mario sixty four? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Z. Wait, what? 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 What, what letter am I what? on?